Welcome to the wood shop stop, friends. Today we're going to build a, uh, a coffee table. Actually, it's sort of a rehab. The top has already been uh, constructed and it has legs on it. A uh, client gave me this coffee table. They actually donated it to me to say, see if I could save it and make it look like uh, something more modern. The coffee table came with these these pipe legs on on it and uh, these legs are from another era I think uh, probably uh, 2010 uh, 2015 I think they were probably making a lot of projects with pipes and stuff like that shelves and tables and uh, they were getting real creative with it but now we're gonna as you see we're gonna change this table totally and give it a more modern look we're going to go with the squared look, the squared leg look, and uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, I'd like to thank all my subscribers, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Be sure to like and share the video, and hit the bell notification if you'd like to see future videos from this channel. And uh, with that said, let's see if we can change this table to something more modern and uh on one more note do, 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 do. <laughs> we gotta have fun sometimes um uh, let's get started I start out by cutting eight pieces uh, for leg stock. These are all the same size, I think 15 inches, but later on I'll trim them back just to get the right height that I want. This is just some pine that uh, I had in the shop from probably pallets and uh, so I've got to clean it up a bit. I'll run it on the joiner first. Smooth the faces out. Take out some of the imperfections. And square it up a bit. I won't bore you with a whole lot of these uh, pieces. After we do the faces, we'll do the edges. Uh, We'll do one edge on each board and that'll give us something to run on the uh, against the fence on the table saw so we can get these things parallel, squared up even more. And after the jointer, we, we uh, go to the table saw and we just take off the rounded edges on these a bit and then uh, uh, actually uh, cut them to more to size. I don't show that, but uh, here I am. I'm, I'm trimming the uh, rounded edges off so we have a nice square, squared up board. Next, we'll take these to the uh, planer and bring these all to the same thickness. We've got a nice flat surface that we attained on the uh, jointer, and then we'll plane them to the right thickness. Oh, here's the coffee table the way I received it. And uh, removing the pipe legs right now. We just had them in with four screws, as you can see. This might have been uh, pretty... Uh, stylish and uh, modern uh, several years ago uh, but i don't think it's uh carrying enough uh decor weight these days 
But uh, okay, here I'm marking up the uh, the legs for the biscuits. I'm gonna join these legs with with glue and biscuits, so that they'll uh, have a decent joint and won't pop apart uh, so easily. Uh, imagine if a 300 pound man jumped on it and started dancing on it. Yeah, you still have some problems. It might break a few joints. But uh, normal usage, these should work out really good. Those biscuits will give it a, a ample enough strength. I really like the biscuit joiner. Um, it's kind of the alternative to the domino cutters that they have out nowadays. Uh, those are a little just just a little too expensive for for me right now. Uh, maybe in the future I may switch to a domino. Um, I'll stick with biscuits and dowels, and uh, I'd like to get into uh, mortise and tendon tendon a little bit more, and. Uh, do some bills that way for some, some real joint strength. Now we're putting the uh, biscuit on the face. And here's the biscuit. I'm using a number 20 biscuit for these. And here I'm doing a dry fitting here. See how they're going to work out. This lumber you notice is uh it's pretty it's in rough shape. It's uh it's repurposed lumber. You can see the nail holes there in that one part. But these are gonna be uh stained so uh stained dark black and uh, then clear coated so you you'll hardly notice those at all, if at all. Now I'm going through the glue up process here. I want to use uh, plenty of glue because we're we're gluing up uh, in surface to uh, face surface, and uh, the ends tend to soak up the glue a lot more. And you need plenty of glue to uh, get a good adhesion when gluing up ends, ends to face, ends to sides, or edges. You can see how grainy that end is right there. So if you glue down into the biscuit slot, <clears throat> excuse me. I think it's a really nice way to do a simple project like that is with the biscuit joiner and uh, gluing up the biscuits in the joint like that. Otherwise, you just have a butt joint, and uh, like I said before, it uh, wouldn't hold up uh, to any any kind of weight. Somebody leaned on it or something like that, it could possibly pop it. But these should do well. That one's a little bit snug there. That might have been one that I think I used on another project or was about to use it, had it in place, and pulled it. And so there might have been a little glue left on that one. Some dried glue. Okay, now we've got the assembly. These legs went together rather easy, simple. Um, it was a, pretty much a breeze lining these up and then putting clamps on them. Uh, not like uh, the angled uh, desk legs that I did in a previous video. Check out that video if you haven't checked that one out yet. The uh, desk with the angled legs. As you can see, there they are, glued up. Here I'm putting a little bevel on the uh, 
corners uh, to soften up the edge. Nothing real fancy. You want to kind of keep the squared all the way around look. And here I'm, I'm adding the uh, stain. Putting the stain on the legs. This is a gel stain. It's black gel stain by Minwax, and uh, I like this for covers. This is this works really well. You get a nice uh, even finish, and it doesn't take a whole lot. It's a lot thicker than your normal stain, and it goes on easy. You can brush it on, or you can use a rag like I'm using right here. You put it on, then you uh, let it sit for about five or ten minutes, and then you wipe it, wipe off the excess, and then you can put several coats on if you want. You know, same process. Put it on, let it sit, and then wipe off the excess. And uh, it's pretty quick and easy. That's why I like the Jellystone. It's it's used a lot in uh, refurbishing uh, furniture. You can go right over painted services, uh, stained services. You don't have to remove uh, the existing finishes. In a lot of cases, it works out well for that. Here's the second leg. Yeah, these were pretty quick to do with using this gel stain. Now, this is the uh, table top. I've got it all sanded. I didn't show you a whole lot of that. I didn't show you any of that sanding I did on this. Uh, it didn't require a whole lot. Um, I just tried to get a uni uh, unified uh, look to the wood surface, uh, take out any imperfections. I did... Uh, fill one corner and, and re-glued uh, one dowel that was coming out. You can see we've got the uh, breadboard ends on it. and uh, But this is the bottom here. That's why I'm using uh, this foam brush. Um, doing the bottom and the sides just to get a, something on the bottom surface so it's sealed up really good. Um, after, after I do this and it dries, I'll uh, sand it with some 320. Now as for the top, I'm using a, a new spray gun that I got. This is a Aero Pro spray gun I picked up a few days ago. It comes in a kit. There's a nine piece kit. You get three guns. You get a 1.8, you get a 1.4, and you get a 1.0 tip uh, sprayer. And with three cups, you get a smaller cup for the small one, and you get uh, two large cups for the 1.4 and the 1.8. And it works out really nice. And I sprayed the legs here. You can see how the finish is looking. It's a satin finish, and uh, man, that really makes them look nice for uh, just plain old pine. And it got nice tight joints on there. And uh, now I'm, I'm assembling the legs to the tabletop. Basically, it was... Uh, uh, kind of a no-brainer. It wasn't very, anything complicated. I just screwed the legs to the top and uh, I got the spacing so uh, I'm about uh, three quarters of an inch all the way around, maybe an inch on the ends. And uh, here I'm putting in counter bores and then I drill the holes into the tabletop from there. And then I'm using uh, actually pocket screws because they work well as furniture screws, as you know, they have that, uh, that flat surface. And here's the finished product. Not bad if I say so myself, turned out pretty good. Three coats of polyurethane, sanding in between coats and then paste wax afterward to buff it out. Give it a nice uh, sheen. It's a satin finish as well, so you don't have a whole lot of glossy look to it. Thank you for watching the video, and be sure to subscribe and share the video.